Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading and it is destined to the sign of Capricorn. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with and the rest of it, just leave it aside. If it doesn't feel right with you, it's not right with you, so just leave it aside. Um, if you would like to have a personal reading, so you're not able to get through to the people in your life right now, maybe you're asking your partner and maybe you feel like they're lying or you're just not getting in information, whatever your situation is and you would like to have some precisions, you would like to have some clarity, some answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. You can find all of my contact information into the YouTube Dropbox. Um, please do, um, if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, or if you come often but you haven't subscribed yet, please do click right at the bottom here, the subscribe button, and I would be mostly appreciative. So, with no further ado, let's begin this reading. I'm using here the Lenormand uh, deck with a Psychic Tarot, and I also have a Magic uh, and You, Magic of You Oracle deck. So, that being said, what we want to know here is, your ex is coming, they're knocking at the door, talk, talk, talk. What do you do? Do you take them back or not? This is what we're going to go see. So, I have the book, I have the magnifying glass, I have the man, I have a letter, I have a ring. I have a dog, I have clouds, a child, and time. Okay. So, all to all, and you know, all together. If you do want to know the answer, I'm going to get. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the cards here and how I became. I came to this conclusion. But that being said, I do have to say that this card here does seem quite favorable for a return of the ex partner. Okay, so this is looking quite good. Um, I don't see any cheating. I don't see any third party. I don't see anything of that going on. What I see right now is a man or a woman, whoever is not on the other side of the screen, who is thinking, who is pondering, trying to figure out what exactly to do with this relationship they really do want to go back to the relationship they really do um, they really do love you uh, they just don't know how to do it because of what they did into the past and this is why you broke up and so um, they are going to be coming okay they're gonna be knocking at your door or maybe they're gonna be calling you okay I'm not quite sure how you're gonna get the news but you are going to be receiving the news um, that you know they want to come back it's gonna come from them directly in any case but they would like to come back. They do love you very much. They are sorry. They would like to continue and they would like to, you know, be even more serious. So uh, that's all good and that's all promising. The problem here is, are you going to be able to trust them? Now, let's put it this way. Right now, you're in great cloudiness. You're in murkiness. You don't really even know what to do with this, okay? This is just about being in a moment in a place where we don't know what to do, where we don't know what to decide. We just don't have all the necessary information in order to take that decision that we believe is right. Um, but we are, we, we're like in the middle, in the midst of the storm, and we do see a little bit of light shining through. And we're trying to go and to grab that light and to get to that light to finally find the answer, a little bit like the leprechauns in the pot of gold, let's put it that way. Okay, this is what we're searching. We're searching for this throughout the clouds, throughout the murkiness of this whole situation. Now, only time is going to tell. Okay, only time is going to tell what is going to be happening with this relationship, if it is going to last or not. So it's going to be a day-to-day -day thing. So every day you need to work on the relationship. They need to work on your relationship. You both need to work on the relationship. Okay, and if you both really put the dedicated effort in the relationship, then things should go rather smoothly. I there. Is gonna, you're going to have to work on a trust issues, of course, but, um, you know, over here I do have um, the dog. The dog does represent stability, represents a home, love, caring, everything in which we want really in life, okay? So this is a dog and, you know, they're just waiting for a partner here, okay? That's all. Look, there's like nobody at the leash here. Actually, they want to take you on a walk is what I'm gathering from this, uh, from this image here. But um, that being said, the dog really does represent home, he represents love he represents somebody who cares for you uh, unconditional love okay because that's just what dogs do um, now 
I do feel like something is going to move. It's going to move forward. Um, so you're going to go a little bit higher up in your relationship. So if you weren't living together, maybe you can live together. If you were living together, maybe you're going to plan for something into the future. Uh, I'm there, I don't see any marriage right now. I don't see any engagement. I'm just talking about there's more stability. It's more serious. And this is what they're going to pass by you also in order to get back into their relationship. They're going to try and give you like a little candy, like we say a bonbon. Uh, they want to give you something so that you say yes. And then you can't say no to it because they know you they know you and they know what you want right um so that being said it's all about manipulation really when you think about it um so yes the relationship is going to become you know it is going to become better um i do have to say that once in a while your partner is a little bit childish okay in their reactions so be very careful about that um if you're going to do anything if you're going to sign anything um please be very very careful make sure that you have good guidance next to you be careful of the fine print okay that is my warning for you be very very careful about signing things and looking and reading at the fine print um other than that just keep an eye open okay you need to look you need to keep your your eyes wide open and you need to look uh, to just make sure that everything is good everything is running smooth um you know if you have to two or three times not just one time if you're still missing information go for a second time and then go for a third time just to make sure everything is clear and you have peace of mind. That being said, this is the book and this is the new book of your relationship, okay? So there was the old one, now you have the new one. You can write whatever it is that you want into this book. Your partner can write whatever it is they want into this book and this book is to be shared. So this is the book, the subconscious book of your love life, okay? And your new relationship right now. So let's make it beautiful, let's make it gorgeous, let's put some patience, let's put some love and let's just go for it right now um let's go see what the psychic terror has to say and they're talking about rebuild so collapse expose create pretense revelations and awareness the dynamics of a relationship can offer can often be very complicated the longer you've been in a relationship the more complex it can be relationships begin to like grow many layers it consists of joy sorrow honesty and duplicity all these layers build on top of each other and it becomes increasingly difficult to know what the core of that relationship actually is. So what was once love may now appear to just merely be tolerance or even worse. Even in good relationships, you might find yourself growing apart from the other person. In either case, the weight of these layers can cause a relationship to simply collapse. Now may be a good time to start afresh with one or more of your relationships. Peel off the layers one by one, okay? cut away any pretense and see what might be revealed find the core of the relationship and decide if it's still what you want and what you find attractive and if so then discard all the old layers and consciously create a new commitment with this person one based on truth on honesty and love and use the awareness gained by this exercise to steer the relationship on a clear and steady course okay we're going to move on to the magic of you and the magic of you says you know ya everything is in perfect balance so um this is the embodiment of a beautiful thinking her crown of thorns and leaves indicate that she understands through her journey of pleasure and pain that she is ultimately free Everything is in perfect balance as her soul takes flight. The moon halo around her head signifies a healthy mind, an emotionally balanced, rational in all its highs and its lows. The death card of the traditional tarot deck is the sister card. Now, when this card appears, it is a sign of current and impending endings and ensuing inevitable rebirth. So it is ending the last relationship and beginning the new relationship. So mortal contemplation in a spiritual practice that has potential to heal to instruct and to connect us to the source of our being the practice of contemplating our own death is healthy and essential in order to to die meaningfully and mindfully there is only one thing that can equally magnificent to to that and that is our birth Okay, so we're talking all about birth. Both are grand gateways to the source of all creation. Everything in life, good and bad, has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Graciously allow to pass and to merge into the universe cauldron of creation for your rebirth. Rebirth. That 
being said, this does conclude your reading. I do hope that you um, found some interesting thoughts. I do hope that you're able to apply it, that you found some answers. Um, if you'd like a reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel with that little red subscribe button in the bottom corner. And I do wish you a fantastic day with many, many blessings. Thank you for being there and I'll be seeing you soon. Have a great day.